everybody, I'm BB Burning Island. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make AI, like the goblins. One sec. Uh, so, the goblins, the imps, the flying things, the skeletons, just, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. So, first let's make ourselves a platform. Sorry if I'm quiet, it is nighttime and... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So let's just make our platform this. So we have a platform. So then what you're gonna do, go to this room, settings, go all the way down until you see this. Fake nav mesh showing room. And you're gonna make this. This this barrier is where the bad guys will spawn. I'm not spawn. Uh, where they will move. You can shrink it as much as you want using that. Let's make it small enough and good enough for. So now, we have a good area. Go to create, go down to shapes, and search up spawner component. So you wanna get this. Now, let's spawn it here. And now configure this set object. Let's do it to melee goblin. So I want two melee goblins to spawn, but they're not spawning. So how we're gonna make them spawn is to get a button or a trigger volume, but it has to be V1 legacy. The one with the three arrows. This. Or we can just do this. I'll add a dot to know that it is right here. Not a dot, but let's also make that decorative. Oh gosh. So now we know that this is here, but if we press it, nothing really happens. So let's go to the connect tool, this red to this red, and this red to the same red. Except with CV1 Legacy, I mean V1 Legacy, only one thing can be at the same time. So let's spawn in a weapon. Yeah, let's spawn in a bow. Now we have our bow. Now let's press the bow. And two of them spawn. Not that great with the bow, but it's something. Now if we go to connect, we can do this red to that red. That's how you do it. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>